Hello and welcome back to my videos. Today we are going to take the website we created and convert it over to CSS and um, actually style it with CSS. Uh, so first let's look at the uh, index file. As you can see I went ahead and I added in uh, the remainder of the text that you'll find here. and I've gone ahead and I've built the form which you find here so you can look through the video you can pause the video and you can go ahead and type this text out scroll it down very slowly uh, so you can pause it whenever you want to and hand code uh, again this video these videos are all about hand coding that is coding from scratch without any without using any um, anything from the IDEs uh, because this is the actual way you're supposed to code. So now we're going to go into our CSS directory. This is the root directory. We're going to go in our CSS directory and create a CSS file, the file that we need for styling. So we start with a new text document and instead of master, I'm going to call it index.css. Simple enough it always asks you if you you know if you change the file name just always say yes now that we have a CSS file we're going to use it to style these pages okay so let's go in and the first thing we need to do is we need to add a link with an REL that says style sheet and an href the address will be in the CSS directory and we call the index.css save. Now we can go and open it and the first thing we want to do is we want to put a test. So let's just test that the actual style sheet is being touched. The way that we do that is we can just change the background color of the body and we'll make it let's say gray that's great those are six C's but you don't have to put all six of them you could just put three so when we refresh the background should turn gray all this does is prove that we've touched the CSS file so once we can prove that we can touch it then we are in a position now to go ahead and style so let's just erase that and what we're going to do is we're going to put a style for the entire page the entire site so the first thing that you want to do is you want to make your margins equal to zero and you want to set your padding equal to zero also next for your body you can choose now there are other ways to do fonts you can choose uh, your font family there are other ways to do fonts there's a new font style out now called W O F. Uh, those are embedded fonts, web fonts. I don't know if it's reached a specification yet, but you can use those kind of fonts to embed any kind of font that you want. So in the body, what we're going to do is add a font family. And generally I just use Tahoma, Helvetica, and Arial. And uh, one of the things that I try to do with most things is keep it in alphabetical order. It's not written in stone that you must do it that way. It's just that it's easier for the programmer who's going to follow you. That's important. Whenever you're writing, you should uh, comment your code and because there's always going to be a programmer following you. Once you have the font family, you can put a font size. I'm making this up as I go along. Font size and generally, let's say we're going to make it small because this font all of these fonts look small to me so we'll start with small and when we run it in the browser we determine whether or not that's good uh, the width of the page I'm gonna make that 762 now that's something I pre-measured so we'll go with that and then background color I'm gonna make it white and um, I think that's it and then I'm going to add a margin which I'm going to make all of them zero and set it to auto so that it will automatically 
you see that they have um, some gradient in the background here we're going to we're going to attempt to do that now that that's all done what we can do is go and uh, so obviously you can see that the style sheet is working the font should all go small that's great and you can see that they are none of them these are serifs those tiny little things you see on the W at the bottom of the P those are called serifs um, and we're, we're taking those away so you can see we're using Tahoma uh, Helvetica or Arial okay so we know that that works and we're happy with that